We have two Switch games in. Oh, no! Oh, we're not off to a good start now! I ordered a stupid amount of used Nintendo Switch games and one Nintendo Switch accessory off of GameStop.com and this is what they sent me. Kind of what they sent me, but we'll get to that in a second. To start with, I have a couple of disclaimers that I have to get out the way, just so that we're all on the same page here with what I'm doing today. First, yes, I actually did steal this idea from Spawnwave with permission. I did ask him, and if he tries to copyright strike me, I have proof. He's been doing a ton of these videos, and I found them very interesting. Like, he ordered a ton of retro games from GameStop and refurbished systems, like an Xbox 360, and sometimes it works out and he gets some pretty cool stuff cheap and then other times he gets sent really dodgy systems that are one day away from breaking. Hopefully that's not what's going to happen to me today. And the second disclaimer is I actually really love GameStop. I know it might be an unpopular opinion. I actually exclusively buy my games via GameStop. <laughs> They're not sponsoring me to say that. They don't promote me. I'm in no way affiliated. I just like buying my games from GameStop. The reason I'm doing this and buying these games and showing you what I got is is because I want to know what the experience of buying you Switch games is like from GameStop. I have a primarily Switch orientated channel and I have to imagine that sometimes you guys might consider buying your games from GameStop online. And here's why it's a gamble. Because when you go to GameStop and you search in whatever game you want to buy, it brings up the box art or the case or whatever it is the game initially came in. And so you're kind of tricked into thinking that it's definitely going to come with that case. But of course, people trade in loose games. They trade in loose cartridges. So again, I ordered a stupid amount of Switch games and it wasn't cheap. <laughs> Unlike retro games, Switch games are still kind of expensive. I used it as an opportunity to pick up a couple of games I wanted. For the most part, I have all the games I want so I had to buy a lot of filler titles and a lot of maybe crap games. I got a couple of things for Kim and I'm just really hoping that everything has a case because I'm a box art kind of guy. I need it for the collection and I hate having loose cartridges. If I get something loose, I'm gonna try and return it. Blabbing aside, let's see what they sent me. Now, when I open this, you're gonna see immediately a bunch of different boxes and packages. Why is that, Woodison? Well, that's what I meant earlier by kind of. GameStop kind of sent me this box. There was immediately a hiccup with GameStop sending me this stuff. I ordered express shipping on all of the stuff that I bought in one big heap. Same day, same transaction. I bought all of this at once with express shipping. I paid extra. And a couple days in, I got sent one of these packages from GameStop, clearly containing just one game. And I thought, that's really weird because when Spawnwave got sent all of his stuff, it was all at once. And the next day I got an email saying that everything has been delayed a week. So I don't know why I paid express shipping. I don't think I can get a refund for that, but everything didn't come in until a week later. It's fine, I guess, but just bear in mind if you're ordering a Switch game from GameStop in time for a birthday or you just really want to play it, maybe try and find a local GameStop near you you can drive to because who knows when they'll actually send it to you. So I bought another GameCube controller. I love GameCube controllers. I kind of collect all different variants of them. And while I do already have this Smash one, it was pretty cheap. I think it was like $17 or something like that. So I thought, screw it, I'll buy another one. These things just came out. So I figured there's no way this thing would be beat up, right? I, I was knew I was pretty much buying a perfect GameCube controller. That, that one's a winner right off the top. All right, let's do this box next, which weirdly I noticed they sent it in a Dollar Shave Club box. So I guess someone over at GameStop loves to use Dollar Shave Club and who could blame them? Great products. They've actually sponsored me a ton of times before. Thanks Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring my other videos. <laughs> right now I'm trying to grow my beard out though. So it'd be a horrible time for me to be sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. No, no, no. No, I'm not ready! Who you think you are, Santa Claus? It ain't December no more. Shave time, boy. No! No! For me, obviously, I enjoy having some kind of scruff, some kind of beard, but I can't just let it all roam free or else I would look like a homeless Chris Hemsworth. So what I do is I trim my neck. I usually keep this completely clean shaven. And there's nothing worse than using a terrible razor and cutting the crap out of your neck 
which is why I really only ever use my Dollar Shave Club razors. No matter your routine, Dollar Shave Club has everything you need to help you look, feel, and smell your best. There's hair and scalp shampoo, which yeah, I'm always looking for new shampoos to try out. A body cleanser, a daily face cleanser. There's a freaking toothbrush and toothpaste, which I haven't been sent before. Shave butter, and then of course the awesome razor. So right here, I actually have three of their starter sets. Their shower, shave, and oral starter sets, which are five bucks each. So whichever one, two, or three of these sets you might need, you can find this exclusive deal down below. Make sure to check that link in my description. And if you didn't already know, the reason why so many content creators choose to be sponsored by Dollar Shave Club is because every time someone clicks on that link below, it does actually support the channel. And because the product is so great, it's actually a win-win-win for Dollar Shave Club, for me, and for you guys. Thanks once again, Dollar Shave Club, for sponsoring this video. Now let's open more of this GameStop stuff. We have two Switch games in. Oh, no! No! That was one of the main ones! No! We're not off to a good start! No! Oh, $54. I was after my pro membership, $50 plus tax. I really wanted to get a copy of Yeez 8 because I only have a code for it. And I really wanted to have a physical, so I ordered it. And I, I just, I don't know, man. I thought it was a gamble, but I thought for sure the really expensive one would have a case. This is heartbreaking. I really hope that I can trade this back into my local GameStop or return it in some way because I am not spending $50 plus tax to not get a case. It's not like this one's hard to find either. Nah, man, that breaks my heart. But we do have also in this one Runner 3 which was $26.99. This one has a case, and it looks like, yeah, I was actually, this is another thing I was wondering about, if someone might have stolen the goodies inside. It's a Nykalis game, and Nykalis games always get chock full of goodies. Like, this is probably a little soundtrack from the game and an art book. But no, everything is here, so... Well, one for two so far, and this one really hurts. That 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 one really stings, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not realizing this, these all have my address on them, so I'm gonna have to blur out most of this box, which is just great. Ah, oh, that's, oh, there's another one in here. And it's also got no case, Lost Child. An RPG I was really looking forward to. That's two for three. This is not going well. This is not going well. Ah, oh, it's devastating. All right, we have one left, and this has got to have a bunch of games in it because I think I ordered 10 games total, and we only have three here. The first game is Soul Dam, another really cheap one. These were two of the cheapest ones I got. And these were the ones I'm like, well, if I'm going to get any without the cases, it'd have to be these two. And of course, these are the two that freaking have the cases. Okay, this doesn't feel good at all. This isn't even a case. I can't see what game this is. But I'm telling you now, I also bought Dragon Quest Builders, which was also the same price as Year's 8. Again, it's a game I had a code for, but I never actually bought because it's never come down in price. But because I was doing this, I figured I'd splurge on these two games. If this is Dragon Quest Builders, I am going to be very upset. And this is this is a bust for me. I mean, it's already the third game without a case out of five. Okay, I mean, okay. It's Harvest Moon. This game is awful. Actually, if I'm being real, this might actually be the worst game on Switch. And it only hit me as I was looking through to buy games for this list. I never actually bought and reviewed it. I just knew it was very, very terrible. And I, so I guess it's fine I don't have a case. So far, I cannot recommend buying used Switch games from GameStop Online. Well, here's one saving grace. I got my Dragon Quest Builders in its case. I don't think it came with a manual or anything, so I don't think I'm missing anything. So out of all of this so far, this is really the only thing out of the, I think it was $260 I spent on this stuff, that I'm actually looking at something I, I'm happy to put into my collection behind me. We have uh, three more left in here. I'm, oh man. Wow, this is rough. I, I'm starting to really feel like that GameStop just want to get rid of these because no one's buying them. So if they have a couple in stock and one has a case and one doesn't and someone orders it online, they're going to send out the one without a case. I bought Rhyme. Again, another game I got a code for, never actually ended up buying, and it, I just bought it purely because it was cheap and I needed an another game for the video. I had no interest in actually owning it, although I did hear it got patched and it runs better. This one I bought from Kim, and it's actually brand new. 
<laughs> it's not even used. I just bought this while I was there buying stuff because she keeps talking about Cat Quest and how she wanted to play it. She was supposed to be in this video, but, and I quote, I don't feel like it. <laughs> and Steamworld Dig 2. We also have a, wow, a very uh, gross case, but we do have a case. It looks like a bit of it was melted at some point. Um, that's not really GameStop's fault. That's whoever had it last. The sticker was removed terribly. Um, and there's also another sticker on it. Like it was never opened, which is weird. I guess they re-stickered it, which is nice of them. But what I'll probably do actually with this one is take like this case and just switch it out. And I'm gonna try and return all of these. Right now it's pretty inconclusive. I mean, half of them came with cases, the other half didn't come with cases. So all up, it pretty much went as expected for the most part. I knew it was gonna be a gamble and it was. The Years 8 obviously is what hurt me the most. Hopefully I managed to get it returned. I haven't done that yet, so I don't know. Ordering express shipping and not actually getting express shipping obviously sucks. I can tell that this came from a bunch of different GameStops, which I'm guessing that was what the holdup was. GameStop ain't bad. I just really feel like for something like this on the online, it should really say whether or not you are gonna get a case. There should be an option to tick saying, I would prefer a case if you can't provide that please cancel my order or something like that. I guess the only way to be 100% safe is to actually just go and buy the games yourself, but if they aren't at any GameStops nearby you, I guess you're kind of screwed. Unless you can return them, and hopefully I, I could. I don't know yet. If you enjoyed this video and you learned a little something, which I think we all did today, make sure you hit flip all over that subscribe and that like button. I usually don't say that, but I would appreciate it. I really don't have anything else to say. I gotta be honest, after brushing my teeth, I got a little sleepy, and the rest of this video was kind of hard to make. I don't brush my teeth until nighttime, so now I want to go night-night. This is coffee. I shouldn't drink that. It's too late.